Look at this filthy coward Muhammad. The punishment, hudud, this is the way of life. Because remember, when you, weigh, when you live as a Muslim, there's a way of life. What is the way of life? What if you do this? What will happen? Let us see. A thief was brought to the Prophet. He said, kill him. And here you ask yourself, well, what, what this guy is talking about? Why do you want to kill the thief? What, what, what do you mean? Here they are showing you how wise Muhammad is. The people said, but he had committed theft, which means supposedly the punishment is not death. The messenger of Allah said, okay, cut off his hand, the way of life. So now, if we go in the street and we have a bunch of thieves, what we will see in the street, we have people without hands. And what is the penalty and why you will be losing your hand if you steal? Steal what? An egg. An egg. Muhammad, the thief of caravan, nobody cut his hands. And yet now he is trying to say, I am going to put law and order. You cannot steal. You can steal only when you go with me, attacking the Christian and the Jews and the Hindus and the atheists and the pagans. But you cannot steal from the Muslims. Otherwise, I will cut your hand. But Muhammad was even stealing from the Muslims. He stole the wives of the Muslims. As an example, the wife, his own son. So he said, cut off his hand. So his right hand cut off. And right away, they start with the right hand. I mean, how nice. So the guy will be disabled for the rest of his life. So now he was a thief because he was hungry. And now how he can afford to live? What he can do for a living? He will go back to steal again. And his hand was cut off. Praise be to Allah. The hand cutter. He was brought in the second time. And Muhammad, he is so peaceful and so loving. He said, kill him. The people said, but he committed theft. So Allah Messenger, then he said, okay, cut off his foot. What? Cut off his foot. I mean, isn't it beautiful? And you are telling me Islam is not a way of life. What's wrong with you? Be honest with me. Isn't it beautiful to go on the street and watch people cutting their hands and cutting their feet? So now the guy, he have no right hand and he have no left foot. Because the Quran says, cut them from the opposite direction. You might wonder why it says, this is Quran. Quran says, you cut the, uh, you know, from khil or khilaf, which means from uh, uh, opposite direction. So if you cut the right hand, you cut the left foot. And then if you cut the left foot, left hand, you cut the right uh, foot. So they cut off his left foot. And then he was brought for this third time. Okay. Third time. And the prophet said, kill him. But they said to him, but he committed theft only. I mean, don't Muhammad notice that this is the same guy? But the Muslim here, they saw you that Muhammad, he knew the future. The Messenger of Allah said, okay, cut off his hand. So his left hand was cut off. And then he was brought for the first time. He said, kill him. The people said, but he has committed theft. So he said, cut off his foot. And now let me show you the stupidity of this story. I mean, this guy, guys, I don't know if you notice with me how, how uh, Islamic books is full of fabrications and stupidity. It's made for a Muslim, not for us. Because only Muslim can swallow this. We, we, we cannot. To make it simple for you, focus with me, please. This is the guy. He have two hands, as all of us. And he have two foot. Excuse my uh, art. So first time we cut what? We cut his right hand, correct? We cut his right hand. Okay, wonderful. I'm not saying it's a wonderful act. Okay, so now this right hand is cut off. No right hand, it's gone. And then th second, second time he came, we cut the opposite direction foot. This foot is gone. 
Now they brought him for the third time. They got the left hand. Now they brought him for the first time for theft. How he can steal? I mean, the guy, he have no hands. Both hands are gone. One foot is gone. He stole for the first time. How? Are you listening? Do you see the stupidity? I mean, even a donkey cannot swallow this story. A donkey, certified donkey. But Muslims, they swallow it easy. This is no problem. Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah, Alhamdulillah. Praise be to Allah, brother. If we ask Zakir Nayak, he will say to you, Brother Fitr, the Prophet, he knew the future. And they brought for him the garden for a time. And he did not cut the hand. And then he did cut the hand. And then they did the hand. And then, the hand. And then he comes for the fourth time and they did kill him. How the guy he stole for the first time, you donkey? He have no hands. He can't even walk. He cannot move from his place. I mean, how this guy will live? I mean, and and the, and the, they say to you, Islam is sent and Muhammad was sent as a mercy. So imagine now what we have in the front of us. We have a a flesh of a human being. Have no hands. Have no feet. Literally. They cut his forefoot. And now he cut his forefoot. And then what the Muslims did? Just to show you the merciful act of Islam. Read with me carefully. And please save the reference because later you might say where well, we can't find it. And this hadith is reported in many places, by the way, not only here. So he brought for the first time and said, kill him. And the people said, he has committed theft, a messenger of Allah. He said, cut off his foot. So his right foot was cut off. And now he have no feet, totally. He have no hands, totally. And then what they did, look at this. He was brought for the fifth time. People. He was what? He was brought for the fifth time. The guy now, he have no feet, he have no hands, and still he can steal. Do we have any Muslim he can explain to us the intelligence of this, this, this garbage religion? Fifth time? So now I have no feet, I have no hands, and now I'm accused of a theft for the fifth time, and I cannot walk anywhere, I don't have hands. And I am the thief who stole for the fifth time. So my friend, a way of life is to be stupid in Islam, because you have to be stupid to accept this story. A way of life is to have to be aggressive and a bloodshed lover. To, a way of life is to beat your wife. A way of life is to lie to your wife, to lie to your friends. This is a way of life, Islam, to, to, to be a sexual predator. If you remember the, the video editor previously known as Mimi Hijab, he says to me, I am a sexual predator. Why? Because I was quoting his prophet where, where he ordered Muslim women to suckle adult men. This is a way of life. If you quote their prophet, they accuse you to be a sexual predator. Not their prophet, the child molester. Marrying six years old in Islam is lawful. This is a way of life. So when a Muslim he says to you, a way of life Islam is, you need to vomit. <laughs> 